Okay guys, here we go, question six. So this is one of the usual SUVA style questions. So pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward is problem. So what's it say here? So a cyclist is moving along a straight horizontal road and passes a point A. Five seconds later, at the instant when she is moving with speed 10 meters per second, she passes the point B. She moves with constant acceleration from A to B. So this seems pretty straightforward. So let's firstly just draw a straight line from A all the way to B, so something like this. And we know, according to this statement, and we know firstly it's a horizontal, straight horizontal row, so it stays here. And as soon as and she passes a point A. Now, five seconds later, she literally gets to point B at the speed of 10 meters per second. So she's here right now with a speed of 10, and this is at time five. So it takes five seconds from A to B to get there. And now we also know that she moves with constant accelerations from the whole, throughout the whole journey. So the constant acceleration is here, A. Now, we need to firstly, so given that AB is 40 meters, so given that the total distance AB is 40 meters, find the acceleration of the cyclist as she moves from A to B. Pretty straightforward, this one. So we just need to think what two of our equations we have here, what is relatable? So first things first, we need to find what A is. We know, we know the distance is 40, so S is 40. We also know um, the final speed at B is 10. And we also know the time taken was 5. So there is one, one equation, but it's always best to look at this together. So here are the list of super equations from Google I'm looking at. Now we need one that relates S, V, T, and A. And the one I can see straight from here, so ignore all the U ones. So ignore the first, second, third, fourth. So we, we need the last one. S equals VT minus half AT squared. So always write this down. I always personally write this down in an exam, all five equations, and just see what is, what is missing. And, and I just don't choose that. Now back to the work. So it's going to be S equals VT minus half AT squared. Now I literally just plug it all in. So we're going to get so far. So S will be 40 equals V times T. So 10 times 5 is 50 minus half of a t squared, so, so we want a, so half of t squared, so half of 5 squared is 12.5 a. And that's it, now just rearrange to make a the subject, so a should be, so plus 12.5 across, subtract 40, so you should have something like 10 over 12.5, if you rearrange it correctly, and this should give you, ta -da, yep, 0 0.8 meters per second squared per second squared and yep that should be the correct answer now let's move on to part b so now we need to find the time it takes her to travel from a to the midpoint of a b now first things first we don't know what the speed is speed of is at a so we should of course try and evaluate this term here so let's just call this one u for now and before we get to the midpoint which is literally bang out here so that's 20 meters across let's find out what the initial speed was using our original equation yeah in fact, you could actually use it with acceleration. So another relatable equation we could have used is the one we saw earlier, which was um, this one. So we could use S equals UT plus half AT squared. Since we already know what A is now because we solved it, we've got S and T already. S is 20 and T is 5 seconds. We can find U. So make U the subject. So I'm going to make U the subject here. So U equals S minus half AT squared over T. And doing this, you should get uh, S is uh, 40, so 40 minus half of 0 0.8 times T squared, 25 over 5. And you should get 6 meters per second. So that is the initial speed there. And now, lastly, now we've got the, now we've got the initial speed. We can find out the new time it takes for it to get to the midpoint. So to get to the midpoint, it will take... It's a 20 meters long and we need to find exactly the, the time left is to get there. So we could use the initial speed. We could use acceleration because it's constant, remember, throughout the whole journey. And we know S is 20. So now <laughs> in terms of equations to use, you've got quite a few options. But I'm just going to go back and use the same equation here. Because why? We have the, we have the U, which is 6. We have S is 20. We have A and we need T. So we need these four variables. And this one has it. So using the same equation, now we're going, to have, we're going to have S equals UT plus half AT squared. 
and the aim is to find the time here. Yeah? So let's just plug in everything we know. Remember that the distance to the midpoint is 20 here. Yeah? So this means this equation becomes 20 equals u which is 6, so it will be 6t plus half t squared. So half of a, a was 0 0.8, so half of that is 0 0.4t um, squared. Now, whew, now, this is the part where nobody likes to do. So here we need to use the quadratic formula. So let's just go ahead and make it look neat. So rewriting in the usual quadratic uh, formula, it should be 0 0.4 t squared plus 6 t minus 20 equals 0. So I'm going to assume that you guys are pretty capable with the quadratic formula. So it's just going to be t equals minus b, so minus 6 plus minus the square root of b squared, so 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 0 0.4, times minus 20. So that becomes a plus 20. And this is all over 2 times a, so 2 times 0 0.4. Now, I need to quickly calculate this one, guys, so let's go ahead and do it. So minus 6 plus 36 times 0.4 times 20. Of course, always double check if I did it right too, yeah? Okay, so I got, uh, the first result was 2.81, so three significant figures, or how many dp? Well, so 2.81 seconds, yep. So that was my, that's when I use a plus sign, and I'm guessing if I use a negative sign, well, it'll probably be wrong. Yep, you get a negative time. So that means the only solution will be 2.81 seconds. And that's it, guys. Hope this video helped, and let me know how you found this entire problem. It's quite a good one actually, it's quite a nice worked example. So have a look at all of this and uh, just you know send me your thoughts. Anyway, speak soon guys and ciao.